Um, <clears throat> my wife reminded me that I have the children's story, so I'll do one that I, I'm, I've always liked. Um, those of you who know me know that I have a thing for light. I love light. I love this house because it faces exactly east-west. Uh, in the morning, the sun comes through the front windows, and at night, they come. the sun comes through the back windows. So we get sun all the way. In fact, in the front, it gets so bright with the sun shining on the door that the handle, which is a brass handle, can actually get hot enough that you're not quite sure you wanna grab it real firmly because it can be just a little too hot. It gets full sun, but I've always liked light and I've always liked uh, things that produce light. And I thought I would show you a couple of things here. See, this, this is a, a little lantern like they would have had in Bible times. In fact, these both of these little lanterns actually came from Jerusalem. They're not uh, ancient lantern, lanterns, but they're made like the ones would have been made back then. And uh, <laughs> I have a, a thing for flashlights. In fact, at the last minute, I realized that there was, some of you may have seen me reaching for something on one of my shelves. I dragged this off the top of the shelf to show you this is my this is not just a flashlight. This is my grandfather's flashlight. This Papo, as we called him, used to take this when he had to go out to one of the barns at night or something. And this light still actually works. I actually did some work on it, got it repaired, and got it working again. But this was uh, Papo's light. Um, but uh, we've, gravi we've graduated to different kinds of lights. I have the one that, that I probably, the ones that I use the most are this one here. This is a little pocket flashlight. I can actually put it on my belt. When Sandy goes out walking at night, she takes this flashlight with her so that she can kind of see around. Um, this is the one I keep in my truck. And this one has a little bit of a story behind it. Uh, Sandy, when she was still working for Florida Conference, used to make trips to uh, see the schools, to work with the schools and the teachers and the principals of those schools. And she was on a trip one night and I was coming back from prayer meeting and I pulled into the driveway. We had had some people working on the house and I had motion detector lights on either side of the garage door that would light up when I backed down the driveway so I could see what was going on. So I get all the way down to the end of the driveway and the lights don't go on. And my first thought was, oh my, uh, the guys working on the house must have tripped the breaker that uh, turned on that, those motion detector lights. So I opened up the door of the truck and uh, that night I did what I usually do when Sandy was on a trip. I got something to kind of make myself feel better. So I had a bag of popcorn in my hand and I got out of the truck and the gar it was pitch dark. I couldn't see a thing. and the garbage cans that were about maybe 10 feet from me, it was like a giant bowling ball hit them. They just went flying. And uh, I didn't know what was going on. So I reached back into the pocket of the truck door and got my flashlight and shined it at the end of the driveway. And there goes a cub up the tree at the end of our driveway. So now my heart's pounding, you know, because <laughs> I know that wherever there's a cub, mama is not too far away. So I turn with my flashlight and about 20 feet from there, there she is standing there just watching me to see what I do next. And I stood there holding my pocket, my, my popcorn and my flashlight and I'm trying to decide, can I get to the door of the house before she gets to me? And finally, uh, intelligence kicked in again. And uh, I decided, you know, I think I'm smarter just getting back into the truck and closing the door and waiting her out. And uh, so I got back in and sure enough, uh, she left. So this is a one of my flashlights. <clears throat> one night I showed up at the scene of an accident and uh, nobody was hurt, but I got out with my flashlight and this was the flashlight that I had at that point in time. And the Florida state trooper that was uh, kind of writing everything down looked at that and said, wow, that's a great flashlight. Where did you get that? And I said, well, they're actually on sale at, at Lowe's right now. And so he told me he was gonna go get one. But this is the one you gotta see. <clears throat> this one right here. This actually has what amounts to two automobile headlights uh, for bulbs, and uh, I won't point it at the um, at the uh, camera because it probably damaged the camera. But you can see how bright those things are. Um, I have a thing for flashlights. Do you do you agree? <laughs> 
<laughs> so <laughs> when I think about light, I always think about the words of Jesus. And in Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16, he says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they put a lamp, light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. God has called us by our kindness and by our courtesy towards others and by trying to communicate our love to them, we become a source of light to them. We light the path in front of them, a flashlight. Lights are used in darkness to light the, the path or to, um, you know, to, to make it easier to see. And God has called us to be his lights. So children, when you go out, when you are around others, and right now we can't be too close to too many people, I guess, but but we're still to be witnesses. We're still to be lights for Jesus. And um, I'm grateful that he has given us that privilege of being lights for him. So anyhow, you know I like flashlights. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father in heaven, I pray for all of the children of our church. I know that this is a tough time right now, and sometimes I'm sure they feel afraid. And I pray that you'll be with them to give them uh, a calm heart, to let them know how much you love them, to send your angels to stand around them and give them your protection. We just give ourselves to you, dear Lord, and pray for your grace. Be with us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.